Tom Morrison here and I want to go over cycling and why it's so terribly bad for you. Um, great form of cardio, great form of transport, but the positions that you're in for extended periods of time are not great for your body and that's why so many cyclists have back pain and they'll have massive legs, I'll give you that, massive legs, but if you think that you're always sitting in this position and you're training your endurance in this position, okay? You're training your body to be strong in a position with a rounded back and also your hip never really fully opens up on the bike okay so unless you're actually standing all the way up and cycling like this which you never really see very often your hip is always closed here at the front which can really hinder how your glutes feel and work and if your bum is lazy the lower back just starts to really get that um, tension in it and just doesn't feel great you add that upper back rounding on top everything here is stretched out and just not really working as well as it should and that's why you get so much of this going on okay so if you do cycle i highly recommend the simplistic mobility method as it will open up your upper back it will also get the glutes going and open up the front of the hips as well okay so there are three really important things that you want to be thinking about if you cycle and enjoy cycling um, especially for long distance guys if you do this as a really big hobby of yours it's really important to work on okay so if your upper back is rounded like this and your hip is closed like this this is what you're going to end up like okay you're going to be like this Okay, so what you want to do is open up the hip, get the glutes switched on, open up the upper back, and that fixes everything and keeps you moving better so you can enjoy cycling a lot more without having to worry about those aches and pains.